Now, so we're looking at uh, Picross S4 and SB Puzzle 141, indeed. 20 by 15 category. Ooh, I see lots of ones. That is painful. <laughs> so this is one where they're throwing you out, like, clues. There is one or two lines there that can be sorted out from the vertical, but this is pushing players now to take a look at the actual horizontal ones first. So the bottom line here, a fair bit of that should be work outable. So one gap, one two, gap, one two, gap. And the nine would start there. So again, giving you a line at the bottom is just a kind of way to, like I said, sort of encourage your player to take a look at solving it on the horizontal plane first. I mean, there's at least one other this line here, which would be workoutable from the horizontal plane, possibly that one as well. There's an awful lot of uh, numbers on there. I might go through that one so in full. Oh, excuse me. But still, we'll pick off the ones that we can work out easily enough and uh, go from there. Hmm. But yeah, I'm going to take a look at just to see how much of this will be filled in here. So get ready for some one gap action. One gap, one gap, one gap, one gap, one gap, one gap, one, two gap. Oh, it's just slightly too short to be able to work out any of this placing for it. Not this one though. There's a portion of his seven. And to get something up in the top ones here it would be quite handy just to yeah, it can strike off quite a lot of those lines then with the uh, with X's everywhere. <sighs> Excuse me. One, two, three, four, gap, one, gap, one, gap, one, two. Okay, so the one, two has to start to the other side. So one, two, gap, one, two, three. Still not close enough though. That one is both vertically and horizontally able to solve something. Okay, and that has to be the two here because the one, two can start inside there, which the one would have to be outside there, so that can't be part of the five. And can't go over with that one just yet. And just coming across there to see the fact that the two can't have existed on this side because it would have run into that X. So this has to be the two inside here. And that means that that's the only place where that two can be up top. I can't determine if that's the tree or the two here, so it's too far um, across. 
Cross for it. I'll probably be able to get some X's on this one up here, though, because. Oh no. There's still a missing individual one there somewhere. Here, though, I can see some bit. And so I was making this one my last one that I'm recording for the evening. It would be quite bad if I get stumped on this guy. Just like I got my asphalt babies to do. <laughs> Getting properly like just completely stumped on a tree by puzzle. I mentioned it before, but like it can be a hour or so without a piece filled out, which is, uh, yeah, that's fun. You can gray in a lot of this down here, and that should hopefully give us some extra X's. Because, yeah, the two can't fit in there, the four can't fit in here, as such, the three horizontally can't fit in there, the four can't fit vertically, the three horizontally. Vertically two, horizontally three. You can see how I'm ruling them out. Again, vertically four, three still. Managed to fill out like most of the top row. Just from a line of X's that just, yeah, you can build back from and just see with the um, contradictions where just stuff can no longer fit in. is here and we should be able to work this in the middle because one two three gap one okay one two three four five yee a full line to fit across and there'd be an x down there let's see if any of these pieces come up there's only ones in this row and that row might be able to fill in some of this actually now from the fact there's only ones here so one gap one gap one gap one no, you can still shuffle nearly in any place there. This four though can solve a lot of that. Get some gaps going. Yeah, I can work out something from this though. Say if that's the one, that means if that was the one, that means that could have to be part of the four, and the four can only extend to there. So x x x x. Lot of triple X stuff in this. Who knew it was a G rated game? Mm, let's see. One gap one gap. I do say this frequently, but obviously if you just check out one video there's ever a point where it's a case of how the F was that part solved just shout in the comments because there is a handy explanation for all of it but if you just direct me towards a certain point like at X timestamp what in the world how <laughs> I would be more than happy to go back over any of these and see exactly what my mindset would have been at I'll know it for myself if I'm going like eh Eh, eh, eh. what I'm kind of counting out in my head is <laughs> or I'll have just lost my mind <laughs> and be rain manning in a corner somewhere Hmm. 
Oh, wait. If the four is up there, and the two is only going to be lit up at the end. So that has to be an X now. Own course is kicking up. Oh, one sec. Yes, so X has to be for the net. when you get like a kind of a circle where it helps finish off all of the um, ones around it like that. There's nothing worse than like where you get four or five pieces on the trot and you're like, ah, oh, brilliant. And then it just completely dries up and leaves you just back to stump land again going, what's next? Where do I go, Buzzer? There is like a little hints and guides and stuff that you can turn on in these actually, which guide you towards um, the next selection, um, I believe. But if you do the puzzles like that, it marks them with a, uh, I think that it just marks the fact that you've used those uh, helpers. See, everyone likes to try as much as possible to do these on their own. I appreciate if you come in and you're stumped saying, What's my next move? So you can just scroll along to the end and hopefully get yourself a, a clue and get yourself back on track. Worst case scenario, if you're really, really stumped, you can always just hit that check for mistakes button and see if you have just actually made a mistake earlier on because you can run a puzzle into a point where it becomes completely unsolvable ah there you go so that's a one and that's a one this is middle two has two wins but it can't have more than that so does this give us stuff here and here and there it does that's eight and so it can't be ten that way so Hmm. I guess if I could just like finish off one of the corners, absolutely. I don't think I can quite yet though, I still am missing one or two bits and pieces inside there to definitively say for certain um, where something's going to be. Yeah. It's just not, it's just one, If it's effectively one piece or so that's missing there just to be able to completely splat in the rest of it. It'll very quickly uh, get complete though once it's done. I can maybe I'll figure this out though, if, say if that's one. One gap, one gap, one, two gap, one. Oh yeah, so the rest of that is all visible. Can't figure that one out up top. I mean, it's just there just isn't enough spaces there to figure it out. Not that I cannot figure it out.
may have all got the puzzle. this thing on the right hand side of me that one for sure Just <laughs> still missing one oh no I guess that one has to be there so that's an X that's the one that's the X that's the one. Oh, dear lord hello cat oh invaded yeah. Hello. Oh. Anyway, I was after waking it up. What? How are you doing? You okay? <laughs> now I can get this out. We have me cat to help. <laughs> Actually, it seems quite helpful. I think my microphone is actually picking up our purr. You're alright. You have a nightmare. I think they're talking about puzzles again. <laughs> this is like the most affectionate cat that you have ever seen. Ooh. Yeah, she's also uh, kind of prone to nightmares. So has a tendency to spring up suddenly and start meowing in the middle of sleepy. What? Hello. Here we go. And it is a robot? Santa! Thought it was like something like a Jason mask on. Yes, Santa Claus apparently. Who knew? <laughs> yeah, that's another one down. Ah, cat didn't. 